Welcome back. My name is David Hopper and this video is part of a 26 part series that follows the alphabet from A to Z. Each letter represents an important part of the launch process for new ministries, new campuses, and new churches. In this video, we'll be talking about M for messaging. How are you building a brand? So let's start with your logo. Your logo tells a message. When you see the Amazon package with that big smile on the box at your door, what's the feeling that you get inside? I don't know about you, but it kind of feels like Christmas when I see that package at my door. Most of the time I open it and it's some clay or art supply that my wife has ordered and I'm very disappointed, but I still smile when I see the Amazon <laughs> smile. It's the power of a logo. Put that smile on anything in the world and I know what you're talking about. Same with the golden arches of McDonald's. I don't know how Disney did it, but they created a font that is now known as the Disney font. You could write a grocery list in that font and it makes you think of Disneyland. I mean, how did they do that? How about the Nike swoosh? I mean, what's that supposed to mean? I know it's a Greek goddess of running or something, but whatever. Why did Apple choose an apple? Why the Twitter bird? Okay, I don't get some logos, but it doesn't change the fact that a logo is more powerful than words, and we need to make sure that we have a great one. At some point, if you put this logo on everything you do, it is going to be something that you can use later instead of words to tell people a message. In the church world, we have the cross, the dove, the fish, although more contemporary churches now seem to use water or mountains more than crosses and doves. But do you have a personal logo that represents your church or whatever you're launching. You need a tagline. You see, you have your vision frame in front of you, but this is not your mission or your core values. This is that phrase that just rolls off people's tongues when they think of you. Just do it. What company is that? We all know the answer to that question. That's not their mission. It's not their core values. You can go look all of that up on their website. Uh, they're much longer. When you are branding, you're thinking about what people are going to retain outside of what you're launching. At first, they're not going to be attracted by a list of a, a long mission or core values. Those things will matter later, so they have to be great. But this tagline is what's drawing them in, so they want to know those other things about you later. After your tagline, you need to start building your brand on every social media platform, starting with a website. Lock down that website name. Make sure you can get the email accounts to match. This is the front door of what you're launching, so make it match who you are. People do not come to your new endeavor without first looking at your website. That's the new world we live in. What are you showing them? I have seen this done so poorly that I wonder how it was possible to actually build something that looks so bad. Other times, I saw the most amazing website and then I visited the location and wondered if I had read the wrong address or something. There, there, there was no way this place what, was near what they were advertising online. That's not good either. You need to have a great website because it is a great representation of who you are. Does your messaging match who you are? Once people understand your message, like your website, they recognize your logo, they identify your tagline, then they might just show up at your actual location and decide to be part of your family. What is your messaging? Begin to build that brand that will be distinctively you. I can't wait to hear about it in our next coaching session. Next time, we'll be talking about N for Neighborhood Watch. How are we connecting to our neighbors? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.